Kamala Harris's campaign just released an amazing new ad destroying Donald Trump by using his own former advisors against him. As you all folks know, in recent years, a bunch of Trump administration officials have come out against Donald Trump, either saying that they're voting for Kamala Harris or simply not endorsing Trump, and the Harris campaign is using that against him. Now, I'm going to show you this ad. I'm also going to show you another Trump administration official who just came out against him today, all in this video. But before I do so, make sure to subscribe to this channel down below. It really helps. It goes an incredibly long way. But now let's take a look at this ad, shall we? So here's the ad on your screen right now. And let's just take a look, shall we? In 2016, Donald Trump said he would choose only the best people to work in his White House. Now those people have a warning for America. Trump is not fit to be president again. Here's his vice president. Anyone who puts himself over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. It should come as no surprise that I will not be endorsing Donald Trump this year. His defense secretary. Do you think Trump can be trusted with the nation's secrets ever again? No. I mean, it's just irresponsible action that places uh, our service members at risk, places our nation's security at risk. His national security advisor. Donald Trump will cause a lot of damage. The only thing he cares about is Donald Trump. And the nation's highest ranking military officer. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen or a tyrant or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. Take it from the people who knew him best. Donald Trump is a danger to our troops and our democracy. We can't let him lead our country again. I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. Wow. That is a really, really strong ad by the Harris campaign. And it's so powerful because there's not much of a counter argument here to be made by Republicans. That's why you don't really see them talking about this specific topic all that much, because what's the counter argument? What do they say? These are people that Donald Trump handpicked he chose these people to serve in his administration. He said, I only pick the best people. I pick the most competent people. That's what Donald Trump said. And now those very people are saying, Donald Trump is not fit to serve. I will either not be endorsing him or I'm voting for Kamala Harris. These are people who served in the Trump administration behind closed doors with him. And if, and I think this, the argument to voters is really simple. If the people who know him best are not supporting him, then why should you? It's a compelling argument that Republicans still to this day do not have an answer for. Of course they don't because there is no argument against it. And I just want to talk about like how unprecedented this is. We have never seen something like this before in American history where you have a, a former president, somebody who's now running to be president, and you have all these people who worked for him, served with him, admired him at one point saying, yeah, I can't do it. I will not be supporting this guy. And Kamala Harris obviously doesn't have anything like that. There's nobody coming out and saying, you know what, Kamala Harris is just not fit to serve. I know her, I've served with her. Uh, she's not gonna get the job done. Nobody's saying that because she is competent. She can do the job. Donald Trump, on the other hand, is not. And we are being warned by the people who know him best. Now, as I mentioned, another person who served under Donald Trump has come out just today and said that they will not be supporting Donald Trump. They're actually voting for Kamala Harris. And I want to take a look at this quick interview he did with CNN this morning. It's retired U.S. Brigadier General Steve Anderson. He went on CNN and talked about why he's backing Kamala Harris along with a number of his former military colleagues. And I think his answer is just so compelling. I think it's one that uh, the American people should hear. So let's take a look at what he had to say. We'll just listen to his first answer to the first question, and we'll talk about it a little bit. Let's just dive right in. Joining me now is retired Army Brigadier General Steve Anderson. He is one of these 10 senior military personnel who signed on to this letter backing Harris. General, I'm so grateful to have you on this morning. Thank you. Kate. So, of course, we're expecting today this report on the Afghanistan withdrawal from a Congress to come and criticize uh, President Biden here. Uh, can you explain why uh, you are defending Kamala Harris? Because obviously that was a very difficult day uh, and we lost uh, 13 uh, brave uh, Americans uh, as that uh, final withdrawal was happening. Uh, tell us your view of, of Kamala Harris's role in that uh, and kind of why you view her as the right person to lead. Well, thank you, Karis, uh, Casey. Um, I was in Afghanistan 2016 to 2018, so I saw firsthand the disaster of Donald Trump's leadership in Afghanistan. He had four years to fix it and to get us out of Afghanistan, and he didn't. And he absolutely set conditions for the things that happened to happen. For instance, he negotiated directly with the Taliban. He cut the Afghanistan government 
out of it. You would never do that. I mean, the guy, this is the guy that wrote the art of the deal, but yet one of the key players he didn't even talk to. Um, you know, he, he negotiated f for the release of 5,000 Taliban fighters that have come back to, to haunt us now. And, you know, it, it, everything that he did to try to set conditions to make this happen, you know, it, he left an absolute mess. He also established a timeline. And that's something you would never do in a military negotiation. You establish your conditions based, not date based. So the entire thing was a mess. So I think Kamala Harris and President Biden did the best they could do. And they were handed an absolute disaster. And I feel that the Afghanistan withdrawal perhaps could have been done better. But in light of the, the conditions that were set by Donald Trump, you know, we saw what happened. Do you yeah. Retired general. Somebody who has dedicated their life to serving this country is now saying, I, I served actually in Afghanistan under Donald Trump. I, I knew what it was like under Donald Trump and it was chaos. It was a disaster. And for that reason, for his experience with working with the Trump administration, he will not be supporting Donald Trump, rightfully so. Because what Trump did in Afghanistan, this is a huge campaign talking for them, po talking point for them. What Trump did in Afghanistan was awful. As he talked about releasing 5,000 Taliban soldiers, only negotiating with the Taliban for our withdrawal, giving them specific dates of when we were doing things, he just gave the whole playbook to the enemy and, it, and thought it would be okay. And, and leaving out the current governing body of the country, and then he has the nerve to turn around and try to blame Joe Biden for his awful deal. So military officials, former national security advisors, former vice presidents, former nominees, for president in the form of Mitt Romney and, and, and Paul Ryan, all these other uh, former elected Republican officials or current elected Republican officials are saying they will not be voting for Donald Trump. And of course, we have Liz Cheney and Dick Cheney, very, very conservative folks who have voted Republican their entire lives, never once voted for a Democrat. Those folks, all of them are saying that Donald Trump is unfit to serve. And if all of these people at once are saying the same thing, and they've worked with Donald Trump, seen what he's like behind the scenes, then maybe the American people should take that as a sign to not be supporting Trump. So, you know, the timing of this ad falling on the same day of all of these military generals, former military officials coming out and endorsing Kamala Harris is not only great, but it speaks to the operation that they're running. The Kamala Harris campaign is a big tent. It welcomes everybody, Republicans, Democrats, independents of all different backgrounds, races, whatever. All of these people are welcome in the Kamala Harris campaign, but Donald Trump's campaign is very isolationist, right? They're only them, they're only their cult and people that worship Donald Trump. They're not welcoming in uh, more people of different backgrounds and different views. It's just not what Donald Trump does. He even said it himself that if somebody didn't support him one time in 2020 or 2016, he doesn't want their vote now. Um, whereas Kamala Harris is fighting for every single vote. And we're seeing that in the campaigns, we're seeing that in these ads, and of course these endorsements as well. So really just wanted to show you that ad. I thought it was fantastic, but I will leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Make sure to subscribe down below. It goes an incredibly long way. I really appreciate it. Also drop a like on the video and comment. Let me know what you think about all of this. And as I always say, I greatly appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.